Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.com and I got a very special video for you guys. And this video will be on the iPhone settings that you must turn off as soon as possible. Uh, so this is gonna be a very straightforward video and occur pretty much in settings. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Now the first setting that you wanna change is actually in general and then software update and then it'll go ahead and check for an update. But what you wanna do is actually go to automatic updates right here, and then it will go ahead and show you that there's two options now. So you can download iOS updates, so the iPhone will automatically download updates over Wi-Fi, and then under install iOS updates, it will automatically install software updates overnight after they have been downloaded. And then you will receive a notification before updates are installed, and your iPhone must be charging and connected to Wi-Fi to complete the update. Uh, so essentially, what you want to do is turn off uh, both of them or at least turn off the install iOS updates because sometimes you don't always want to just automatically install these updates and also in other times maybe you don't have the storage space to download a 4 gigabyte update so maybe you don't automatically always want to download it maybe you want to have it manually so that's when I would recommend you to turn off either one of these or both of them. Now the next up is a setting in privacy and then it's under location services. And then you're gonna see that you have all these apps. So potentially all these apps have your precise location. Let's say for example, an app like Shazam. It doesn't make sense to have a precise location turned on for an app like Shazam. So with precise location, it does as the name suggests, so it allows apps to use your specific location. With the setting off, apps can only determine your approximate location. So if I am just using Shazam for music uh, and I just want to know what song is playing, it doesn't make sense for Shazam to know my precise location. So in that case, we can easily turn that off. Uh, and just some other apps will always have your precise location and you can just individually deselect precise locations from the following apps. Now next up we have a setting in accessibility and then it's under touch and then we scroll all the way down we have back tap. Uh, so back tap is an interesting feature in which you can uh, code uh, the back of your device to do certain functions. So let's say for example a double tap will take us to the home screen and you can see it did it and then a triple tap you have the ability to take a screenshot. So what we can do is actually turn those off if you would like, so you could just so you could just change it to none. Uh, so that's definitely an option. But I do use back tap, uh, so I just use it. So I just normally just keep it on. Now under accessibility, once again, what we can do is actually go into sound recognition. So under sound recognition, it's always looking for certain sounds and it'll give you a notification when it hears it. Uh, so let's say for example, when it hears a dog barking, it'll give you a notification. When it hears a door knock, whenever water is running, it'll just give you a simple notification. So that doesn't always make sense if you don't necessarily need it. So then you can just easily turn it off uh, and just turn off these certain sound recognition functions. Now I did do a whole video on this and I'll leave a card in the top right for you to check it out. Now next up we have a setting under Safari. So if we go into Safari and then we go to where it says preload top hit, we can go ahead and turn that off. So it just automatically preload uh, the most visited website. So that is just not necessary at certain times. So you can easily turn that off. Now next up is a setting under photos and then hidden album. So with hidden album, it'll actually tell you under your albums tab that there'll be a hidden album. So you can just hide the fact that you have a hidden album altogether, but you'll still be able to secretly access that hidden album. So once again, it says when enabled, uh, the hidden album will appear in the albums tab under utilities. So you can see in my case, you can see that will say hidden album. Uh, so it just says hidden right there. But if I turn off hidden album, you can see that it now will be gone. So that's what you can do. So now if we go into settings and accessibility, and then we go into where it says Siri. So what we can do is actually turn off, always listen for Hey Siri. Now this is the number one battery drainer and you definitely want to uh, turn that off because it's always going to listen, whether your phone is in your pocket, whether your phone is face down, wherever you have your phone, it's always gonna be constantly draining your battery, looking for you to say, Hey Siri. Uh, so that makes sense to so just turn it off. Now next up is under App Store. So it used to be iTunes and App Store, but now it's just App Store, so we can go into it. And then what we wanna do is just turn off automatic downloads for apps 
and all automatic downloads for app updates. So you just want to turn off both of them. Now it just doesn't make sense. Uh, even for app updates, yes, it does make sense, but sometimes you don't necessarily want to update a certain app because then the whole UI will change and everything will be different. Uh, so sometimes you don't always want to have this turned on. So I would highly recommend turning off both because you can also save some cellular data as well because uh, you don't want to always be just uh, using up your data at that point for automatic downloads. Now the next setting is under cellular. And under cellular, what you want to do is just turn off iCloud Drive if you have the option because then it'll always be loading documents to iCloud Drive and draining your cellular data, especially if you're on a capped cellular data plan. This is definitely when you don't want to be using it. So that is just definitely a feature that you want to turn off with iCloud Drive and cellular data. Now next up, we have a new settings under privacy and then local network. You wanna turn off all these apps that you don't need local network for. Now it does make sense to have local network with YouTube if you want to stream to your Samsung Smart TV, for example, or a Smart TV enabled device that has YouTube support. You wanna turn it on for local network, but certain apps just don't need local network access uh, and they'll just always be running. So you don't wanna have certain apps with local network access. Now next up under settings and the notifications, what we can do is just go to show previews. Uh, so it will always show previews of whatever notification you get, whether it's a text message or anything like that. So you can change that to never or when unlocked, especially if, if you have face ID or a passcode, that makes more sense. But it, it will just automatically be preset to always show your preview of your notification, especially if you have sensitive information on your phone, then you probably want to change it to never or when unlocked. So that makes sense to change it. Now under Siri suggestions for notifications, it does make sense to uh, turn this off if you would like. Now you can stop showing suggestions on your lock screen and you can also stop showing Siri suggestions for all these apps that you have on your device. So hopefully you thoroughly enjoyed this video on all these settings that you should turn off as soon as possible. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. Also be sure to leave a comment down below and also be sure to subscribe for more great content. Once again, this was Apple Critics and thanks for watching.